all right guys it's time to make like avengers and suit up our subsidy generals for action hi and welcome to red ebony i am akayasha you can call me aka and we'll be looking at what kind of gear to put on your subsidy generals so right off the bat the kind of gear we would want is anything that provides debuffs to enemy troops and that means we would primarily be looking at Achaemenide gear. So I'll be showing you what a full setup looks like. Let's dive right in. We have our general here, and we'll be starting with the chest armor, then we'll move on to the boots, the helmet, and then the leg armor. We'll go through these four pieces first. You'll understand why this order when we're done. So we look at the chest piece. Here, the Courageous Akamenide armor has two debuffs, while the Fearless has one. Both of them have mounted troop defense. In this case, we will go with the Courageous Akamenide. So we'll go to our general and suit him up. All right, nice. Next, we go to the boots. The Courageous Akamenide boots has two debuffs, while the Fearless has one. Both of them have enemy siege attack. I think it's straightforward. We go with the courageous Achaemenidae boots. We go back to our general and suit him up. Okay, next we look at the helmet. The courageous Achaemenidae helmet has two debuffs while the fearless has one. In this case, we will go with the courageous Achaemenidae helmet. We go back to our general and suit him up. Okay, great stuff. Finally, we look at the leg armor. The Courageous Achaemenide leg armor has one debuff, while the Fearless Achaemenide has two. In this case, we would go with the Fearless Achaemenide. We go back to our general and suit him up. So after going through those four pieces, this is what we have. Now, take note because this part is very important. This setup here is the same setup that you would have on all of your subsidy generals that you want to get up with full Achaemenide. I repeat, it's the same setup for these four pieces. It is literally copy and paste on all of your generals for these four pieces. The only two pieces that will have any change in this setup are the weapon and the ring. For the ring, we have two options. The Courageous Achaemenide has enemy range troop attack debuff, while the Fearless Achaemenide has enemy ground troop HP and enemy mounted troop HP debuff. I think I can say with a good degree of certainty that range troop attack is without a doubt the most important stat to debuff in this game. So for the most part, you would want more of the Courageous Achaemenide ring, but you would also need some of the HP debuffs from the Fearless Achaemenide ring. Because of that, you will have a sort of mix and match situation where you have more of the Courageous Achaemenide for range trip attack debuff than you would for the Fearless Achaemenide with HP debuff. As for the weapon, there are only two choices that have meaningful debuffs to us, and that is the Achaemenide Axe and the Achaemenide Spear. For these two weapons, you can mix and match according to what you're trying to achieve. So when all is said and done, here is what a full setup looks like. You will be looking to replicate something similar on most, if not all of your subsidy generals. It is also important to note that with this setup, we get the full six piece Achaemenide attribute for the minus 15% enemy troop attack debuff. And this debuff applies to all troop types across the board. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like, maybe drop a comment down below. If you would like to have an idea of what it takes to craft these debuff gear for your subsidy generals, be sure to check out the next video. Thank you and Aka signing out.